rendering companies uh, throughout the world are uh, faced by uh, the need to standardize the finished product at the protein content mainly. Recently, the protein content uh, uh, was uh, um, aligned by ashes content because ashes are becoming more and more important for feed producer and pet food producer. Also, the protein are really important to be uh, delivered at the right uh, content in order to have the better payments, to be selected by the best supplier for them and to uh, deliver consistent products. At the same time, a uh, producer needs to work in order to increase the yield into their uh, processing line, uh, adding more moisture as possible in the finished product, in the finished product reducing uh, the amount of energy in the oven. At the same time, the customers can also understand how many different uh, suppliers they can select in order to have the better finished product. The instrument is useful because we can easily take a cap, distribute the product, as you can see, very easy by any operator. There is no risk to, to make mistakes in the, in the sample preparation, okay? Uh, the cap must be put on the area of analysis. These are different meat meal uh, productions at different protein content coming from different uh, species like bovine, different kind of mammals and uh, poultry. Meaning that with the same calibration, we can analyze different species of animal byproducts. So for the operator, it is easy to close, easy to select the product. So we have here the possibility to run the calibration. We, we just ID the sample and then we wait the results waiting the analysis of different subsamples of the cap and we will see the average value for fat ash moisture protein in very few seconds the uh, rendering producer can control the finished product uh, uh, <laughs> delivering exactly what is requested by the market keeping the yield at the best level can control different points of the, of the line in order to increase yield, as we have uh, discussed before, the oven or the cooler, but also at the end of the line, after the sieve, after the miller, in order to understand if the product that will be put in big bag or in silos will be at, uh, will be at the best level of yield for him, but also in some case on the process when there is a problem. So in this case, you will see that we have uh, detected uh, 59% protein here, 50% fat and 60% ashes with a very low level of moisture. And if we can give a look, the customer that gave us the sample wrote 60% poultry, meaning that if this is a batch that is expected to eat 60%, the customer can easily verify if the, the, the target is achieved or not.